your mission should you choose to accept it. Welcome to Mission Oggy, where our four scouters have been set missions by this little fella to win this, the Golden Hedgehog and bragging rights um, for at least a year or so. Um, but who has been a bit too naughty um, with their missions? We have Alex, Gareth, Jake, and Sean. So, so far, let's get a score update. So, so In far... The lead. <laughs> In the lead at last place is Gareth with three points, followed by Jake with four. Sean is seven points. So Alex is in the lead with eight, just pushing it by one, one mark. Okay. So the question is, how naughty were these contestants? Not naughty. Nowhere near naughty. Shocking. Yeah. Yeah. shocking. It says on the back, it's a five minute timer and I need a rope or shoelace. We need a rope. A rope or shoelace. So to be sure, I've got a bit of cord. Toby's doing it with me, he'll a bit of cord as well. Yeah. And I've got a rope. So I have to say, I've been dreading this one as well, because it does say on the back, five minutes, need either rope or shoelace. So I'm already thinking this is connected to knots. Now my shoelace, it didn't say what loot shoelace, so I've got red licorice shoelaces. And it says... Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is... Demonstrate as many different knots as possible. This is going to be five minutes. Five minutes. You must demonstrate and successfully identify the knot for it to count. Your time starts now. And your time starts oh, now. Your time starts now. Oh no. With each knot, you must change your accent. Your time starts now. Oh my god! This is not okay! This is not okay! Yes, oh. oh my god! This now worries me. <laughs> about what else they're going to make us do. We've, all, we've all obviously had one very different challenge by Mr. Decorate. Yours was accents. I want to go with his accents. I can't wait to see this. So we've noticed that in episode one, Sean had a little twist to hers. She had to decorate her peg. Oggy thought that every time Jake met me in person, he said, oh no, every time that I said it. It's actually, oh no, no exactly. So Oggy thought it would be best to see how great accents Jake does for us. So let's see what Jake did. Definitely not going to be easy. So here's one shoelace. Let's start easy. The first knot I'm going to tie is a reef knot. I think that's it. Ha ha. And I have one reef knot. The knox knot I shall tie shall be a granny knot. I shall sound like the queen, as she is the greatest granny of them all. And if Froggy does not like it, I shall feed him to the corgis. And here is one granny knot, as I said, named after the queen. Next up, I'll be from Landan, and I'll tie a half hitcher. And in Landan, we like tying half hitches. Yeah, boy. Because we're so gangster. And there's one half hitch man. Next, I'll be from Italia. And in Italia, we like tying a ball in there. We tie a ball in there to stop a pizza flying away. Yeah. And one ball in there. And next up, I shall be very posh. Because posh people go to Royal Ascot to watch the horse racing. And to tie our horses up, we use Highwayman's Hitch. And we use this so our horses can't escape, but we can ride away very quickly. And here is one highwayman's hitch. Next I'll be from Tut North. And everyone from Tut North is really friendly. So I shall tie a friendship knot. Oh no. And Tut North, everyone smiles. They're really nice. And there I have one friendship knot. 
Next up, you're from Scotland. In Scotland, uh, we use thicker of eight. So there's one thicker of eight in Somerset. We use our clove hitch. There's one clove hitch. Next up, I shall be from Germany. In Germany, we like using our sheep bend. In Germany, we use our sheep bend to stop our lettuce blowing away. <laughs> and that is all I have. <laughs> Oggy, I'm going to kill you. I hate doing accents. <laughs> Very impressive. If you ask me to do them now, I probably <laughs> couldn't remember all of them. So that was nine knots, so in the five minutes you did um, 33 seconds per knot. The knot was to do with the accent you were doing. I, I thought think that was quite one. good. Yeah, that was good. I thought about this one yeah. in the few moments that you had. You know, yeah, I, like, yeah, I kind of start wondering if you cheated. I would no. not do that. Oh. I would not do that. Oh. <laughs> already early enough, in episode two, we're already thinking all the people are The cheating. daggers around. Yeah, how yeah, could you get an accent to go with <laughs> yeah. a knot and really relax? Tie a knot, perfectly. Okay. May I point out? Well, you said you couldn't do them now. Oh, yeah, yeah, give, yeah. Give, me, give me something <laughs> else. I will tie them now. May I point out and break this up that every single one of you pressed record before you opened it and you actually, in some cases, tore the actual thing, but in all cases, you actually did lift off the wax seal. So there was no cheating going on. <laughs> um, is yeah, there anyone that did the highwoman's hitch, the friendship knot, and the sheet pen? I've got Gareth next. Oh no. I'm use this rope. I'm use this rope. Left, over right, left, over and under. right, and I, I say it. Right, over left, and under. I've got to get through as many as I can in five minutes. Reef okay. knot. And what can we do? Figure of eight. So you need to make like a figure of six, like that. And you come back round to make a shape of an eight, and you put it through, and that gives you a figure of eight. If you were. Yay. To take a figure of eight. the other length of rope, you can use the figure of eight to uh, join two pieces of rope together. So this would be a rerun figure of eight. Yeah. So you put the rope through here, you follow the rope back around. It's basically two reef, um, two yeah. figure of eight over figure together. Eight. When do you use these topes? Climbing. When you have another rope like this, you need to put something called a stopper knot at the end. So the stopper knot, you would go over, over and then push it through. Um, push it through like so, pull it, and then you've got a nice little stop and knot at the end. And you should technically do one of those on each side, so if the rope does start to slip, it will... Um, should we have set a timer? Making all these knots, and I've got them tie them all now. You can do a figure of eight on the bite as well, so you end the rope like that, you go all around, you make the figure of eight, and you don't make it like that, but you do the figure of eight the same way, but this time you do two bits of rope, so you get a loop at the end of it. That's really useful for when you do climbing. You could do a bowline. So you can take the rope through here, you make a figure of six, really simple thing. This is your rabbit, this is the tree, your rabbit comes up through the hole, round the tree, and back down the hole. Here we go. That is the bowline. Lift the chair, lift the chair, bowline. I don't do all these complicated knots. You need a carabiner. Clove hitch first of all. So Wait, you do like make a, a How shape, many times have you got left? shape of an X. Rope comes up through. That is, I think, a clove hitch. You can also do half hitches where you pull it through like that. Or and you pull the rope yeah. tight. And then you can do another one. And you can pull it tight like that. Okay, so you've got about 30 seconds. Hitch, right. Italian hitch where you can do two hands like that, you take them sideways, but you normally you put a carabiner through that and then you've got an Italian hitch, you can do two of those. Sorry, what's the hangman for? Uh, hang with the hangman, hang on, I need an overhand knot, which is easy. Overhand knot, start the climbing, you turn it like this and you just pull. Okay. That is an overhand knot. I only did the I'm exhausted, easy. there we go. I only How many did was the that? easy knots. How many was that? We did lots. There we are. So, Gareth did ten knots. So one more than Jake. Whoa. You both started with a reef knot. I don't know if that was obviously going to happen with the other two ladies. Um, then after the timer, even though you knew the timer was over, you then decided to do a hangman's noose, <laughs> knowing full well, because everyone told you the timer was up, 
And you then told the camera, no, 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 I started it early, you know, I, it's from when the time I, I opened the envelope, and if I did it at that time, you were way out um, doing the hangman's nose. And then also, then you tied a rope around Toby's head, not naming the knot anyway, but showing what a, a knot you would use for canal boats. Um, <laughs> so you used your <laughs> after... <laughs> After the time that had ended, so it didn't even count. You just wanted to physically put a rope on your son's head. Um, and you're the only one to actually do the Italian hitch. So of all you ten knots, that's the one knot that you did uniquely. Now the two ladies together. I'm really worried about this because it bad. was really I bad. bad. I yeah. Bad. Um, reef knot. So we go left over right, and that is your reef knot. Let's see. Let's go with a, just a basic overhang knot. This is one of my favourites. Here's my arm. Lark's foot, or sometimes called a cow hitch, I think. But there we go. See, we can see. Shoelaces. So simple. You're going over, over the bridge and through the hole. Wrap it round. Do that, and you've got a basic shoelace bow yeah let's see if this actually works so that's just a normal figure of eight but i'm actually gonna re-thread it because i reckon i can put another knot in the top here that might count um oh what else do i know oh broken one does that mean i get to eat that one in a bit re-threaded figure of eight now i'm going to attempt to put a stopper knot if i've got enough rope left in the top granny knot so you go over and through like that and then you do over and through again like that and it ends up as a bit of a granny knot bowline um there we go stop a knot ooh 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 uh reef knot um left over right under right under left under reef knot you does reef knot we we're getting harder now you go through the rabbit hole um, this is where I wish I'd got proper rope. Uh, alpine butterfly. Somebody was attempting to teach me knots. Um, so let's see. I think that goes down there. Alpine butterfly. Okay, this is more knots than I've ever done in my life, ever. I'm going to attempt a bowline. I always get this wrong, but let's see. Here we go. So we've got our rabbit hole with our tree. Oh, our tree needs wilted. It needs some water. Oh, yes. Bowline through the rabbit hole and da -da, we've got it we've got a bowline brill um what else can i do that's a hitch i'm now stuck again and what do i do next what do i know as my husband's always telling me if you can do an overhand not on a half hitch you can uh, tie the wall together ned's gonna kill me for not remembering my clove hitch um i've not got anything to wrap it to this is talk about be prepared I ought to have had some kind of stick. Oh, what do I do with a clove hitch? I give up. That is my lot. There we go. Stop. Slip knot. Slip knot. Remember that. Oh, clove hitch. This, that's clove hitch, not round turn into half hitches. See if I can do it with my arm. Ah, dead Zack is left. Dead Zack is left. Clove hitch. Ish. Can you see it? Well, that was stressful. <laughs> So Alex did took seventy five seconds per knot, <laughs> four knots, but she was the only one to do the shoelace. But you did the bowline twice. Uh, well, you attempted the bowline twice. Well, yes. You see, I didn't allow myself to pass. I made myself do it again because it wasn't good enough. Yes, <laughs> wasn't. See, but. The weird thing is, when you were doing a bowline at the same exact time, Sean was doing the same knot, the bowline, and then at the end you were, think, you were thinking of doing the clovich and you didn't, and then Sean did a clovich at the end. So it was kind of like, that's why you were grouped together. Um, Sean, you were the only one to do the cow hitch and the alpine butterfly. You were also the only one that actually did the wreath knot as, as their sixth knot and not their first knot. You took 27 seconds per knot. It's not too bad. 
too bad, actually. And you knocked Gareth off the top spot oh, with 11 knots. I did. 11 knots in total. Wow. So, See, I'm surprised. I was just like tiny. So scoreboard-wise, Sean is first. Gareth is second. Jake comes in in third. I mean, just... It is, Regular. with Alex coming in at fourth place. So there we go. Clearly the anti-scale. <laughs> <laughs> so, we all love a good collection. So let's see what types of collections these guys had in store for us. This is my Ode to Mike. I've got my orange sweatshirt on. Time to find out what Mr. Ketchuk has in store for me this time. So, let's open the envelope. Right. Before, I, I'm just going to show you this one line there, but I've not opened it, and it says, your mission, should you choose to accept it, that means I could easily say no. Is to get the most unique amount of neckerchiefs in one picture. Oh, in one picture. Um, you have one week to get a photo with people wearing different neckers. 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 Most different neckerchiefs win. You must also appear in the photo. Your time starts now. Okay, but one week, neckerchiefs. I have a cunning plan. Bring it on. Don't worry if it strangles you, it's for the good of the picture. What I said was, I don't care if it strangles you, it's for the good of the picture. She was accurate on the line. I, I, I would like <laughs> to recheck the, the wording of this challenge. <laughs> the wording repeated <laughs> on four occasions no, 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 all no, 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 the <laughs> No, the we will, we will the get to your The wording says oh. the most knackers different with people, people wearing them. People so I have people wearing neckers. them and I have lots of knackers. People, wear, we'll get to you in a second, but we're going to start with Alex first. So Alex did yeah. have people wearing different knackers. Yeah. Um, this is her lovely family. And they had 19 knackers and to prove it, she also oh. recorded it with each individual necker and, weirdly enough, you named every necker. You knew every single necker chief that was Eric on their... Geek. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, for example. Oh, wow, well, that's cool. Except. Except that most are wearing the same necker, so there's only six neckers that we could actually spot in there. <laughs> Sean took this one. This had 52 different neckers. Ooh, very good. So, obviously, at the moment, you you're in them? the lead. Yes. Now, Gareth... It, uh, my word was different. I'm going to leave now, this. No, no, Gareth... No, 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 let me explain. Gareth sent a 360-degree picture, which, obviously, we awesome. can't show online. So, what he also did was took one picture one way and one picture the other way, so I could get a general view of the 360-degree building that he was, obviously... In. Everyone has had slightly different descriptions. No. No. No, they have. There was the, the peg and you had to decorate it and then do the accents on the knot. Mine knot. was different. Mine no. was the most yeah. No. You get that arm, you get the other arm. You'll, you'll find out which form yours was different on. <laughs> the first one I can quite happily show you. This is obviously, Toby's wearing ten neckers, you're wearing one necker, and in the background on that photo is 35 different necker chiefs. On the other picture, which is this one, this is um, 67 in the background, which is a total of 113 neckers. Winner! But <laughs> you're not wearing them. I've seen you both wearing them. The wording that everyone said, people wearing different neckers. So if that's the case, you went from first place with 113 neckers to 11, which makes you third place. <laughs> So that so means it's not last. That. It's, not it's not last. It's not last. Sean was first. Alex came second. Gareth third, and Jake fourth. Again. My Again. poor explorers. I'm, I'm very sorry to all my explorers who are in that picture because it was on a camp and I said, right, we have to spend ten minutes doing this, and I made them stand outside for about twenty minutes until I was completely happy with the picture. So that's the end of this episode. Don't forget to like it. If you liked it, subscribe. If you subscribe, ring the bell. And if you enjoyed it, you can obviously watch the next episode on our Patreon page. If you're not part of our Patreons, then you've got to wait a week. Sorry. Otherwise, I will see you next week. I'll see you again soon for another Mission Hockey. If you choose to accept it.